Hello friends and welcome to another beautiful day here at Sophia Kamau's TV show. It's been 45 days since I planted my kale and they're ready for harvest. So let's go outside and harvest the kale. Come over here. I think we should start from the back moving forward. And uh, look, they are really big over here. I think this portion here favors it the most. So I will start from here. So again, for those who haven't seen my other video, we pick the kale this way. You pick from the bottom leaves and you just push them down and this gives them room to grow. I will do this and I see there's a few weeds which I will do uh, the weeding in another day. But today I just wanna take some leaves off then I'll give it more room to grow strong and healthy. So the bottom leaves are kind of the small ones and as they grow, they are big. So I can take as much as that because we do have uh, um, a lot of kale, so I don't wanna finish them, but leaving them this uh, less helps them grow better. So I will continue. If the bottom ones are dirty or very, uh, not happy with them you just leave them there for as a fertilizer and the rest i can pick already look how much yeah so i start picking them when they are uh, young and then every week i can uh, continue picking because we are busy in life so that if i leave them for so long i will be overwhelmed and i won't be able and it will be going bad in the garden so i'll continue picking again it's this way you just pull the leaves down and by the end of the rows here i will have a lot of kale in my basin i'm almost halfway look how the behind there looks how much kale i have gotten already and i'm not done so you can be enjoying your harvest and saving money while you do such a simple thing like this kale this was 78 uh, siblings we normally plant one or eight and uh, look how much it is it is a lot so i will continue doing this until where i reach i don't have to finish uh, harvesting here the whole garden but I can just take um, a few what I need and then uh, the rest I can do another day So when you plant them like two, they don't grow too well. Like I saw another one here, there are two, one is weaker. So I can move it out and plant it somewhere else. But the ones which are alone are doing better. And that's how it should be. They are very healthy because they are not um, fighting for food with the other one. This one here, it's doing the same. It's very small because it's alone. The next one here is big because it's growing alone. This one here is fighting for food. Yeah. So that's another way. Plant one seedling at a time and don't plant uh, many or two of them together.
I can see my amaranth that grows wild is growing again. It's here. The, these are amaranth growing. I have lamb's quarters and another amaranth. They always grow at this section and plenty of them naturally growing and I love it. stop here for today I have a bunch here and a lot over here I'm going to do this today and this is just half of the garden for my first harvest so the rest is over there maybe I can do tomorrow or another day when I get a chance so this is what I say, it is very, very important to be um, trying and harvest your kale frequently. Then it grows faster and at the same time, you are not overwhelmed doing it all at one day. Like, look at how much the half of the garden has given me. And look, I still have plenty here for another day. So I'll end up here, go clean my kale, and uh, chop it up and store it for uh, keep it for storage i'm really grateful for uh, my kelp it's a lot this is really good buying this from the store will cost you a lot of money and this is why i'm really encouraging everybody to start their kitchen garden even if you don't have room you have a patio like this one you can put in containers and kale need very very little maintenance so i am excited here and i'm going to clean my kale and chop it so i will start by cleaning my kale and in fact sometimes the way i water my kale it's like i wash it so it's always clean and i don't need much water sometimes if it's dirty you just have to wash leaf by leaf but this one is clean because there was there's been rain and the way i water my plants i make sure that they stay clean and not uh, splattered with mud or dirt So most of my kale is very clean. The bottom leaves are the ones I will be concerned. The top leaves are okay. So just switch them in case there's some bugs stuck on them. But this time we don't have bugs yet. So the kale is really clean.
my final batch done and to be honest the kale is not dirty i just changed uh water from one batch or from the tray the basin and now this is uh the second batch and as you can see my water really is clean there's nothing like no bags nothing just a few things what is that mm. just a little dread okay friends i am done cleaning my kale you saw how i harvested and seen how much you can get from just a small garden and this was just half of the first harvest i encourage you again and again please go and try planting your own vegetables and see how much you can save in a year the next stage for this one is uh, to go and cut it and then bag it to freeze it normally that's what i do but I won't show you this in this video because I already have a video of the quickest way to cut kale using my uh, food processor. I'll put the link in the description below and uh, you can leave me a comment also. Tell me what you have planted this summer or what is in your garden and where you're watching my video from. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. Until we see you again with another video. Bye.